Hi, I'm Joyce Graff. I'm with the VHL Family Alliance. Um, I represent the 5% of people with kidney cancer who have it because of some genetic disease, a genetic syndrome. And VHL is one of those syndromes. It's the largest of the syndromes, but there are a number of other ones. Berthog-Dubé syndrome, HLRCC, and so forth. What, uh, what we have to deal with in VHL, it's not just kidney cancer, but in fact tumors of the retina, brain, spinal cord, kidney, pancreas, and adrenal glands, and a newly discovered tumor in the inner ear. So almost all of our uh, senses are threatened by VHL. And it's very important to monitor for tumors, find them early, and deal with them appropriately with the best surgical or other treatments that are available at the time. And doing that, we've been able to improve people's quality of life and length of life very significantly over the last 20 years, even though we still don't have a drug. Most of the drugs that are currently on the market for kidney cancer are in fact based on VHL research. VHL is a gene that is on the superhighway for angiogenesis. VHL controls HIF, HIF controls VEGF, and on from there. And it's this discovery and research on the VHL gene that has led to all of the four drugs for kidney cancer that are currently on the market and many of the ones yet to come. So we're part of this community. We are an integral part of the community. We appreciate the work that the Kidney Cancer Association has done. And we um, go on also to deal with the other aspects of our conditions that um, go along with kidney cancer. Thank you.